So a little bit of a quick morning video for me. Um, this game is a little bit fun, relaxed, and it would have been a really awesome if the view bobbing was a little bit less. Uh, but it's good practice to just, you know, do some light training for aiming with mouse or steam or whatever. I don't. So. I was thinking that this shouldn't be, you know, necessary. It's like what four or five years since the Steam controller came out. Five, I think, and you can't even buy the Steam controller unless you go for like eBay or very expensive one. So, unfortunately, I hope there will be a version two because I love this one. But I'm, I was thinking, why not show the Steam controller version as mouse? Then? Well, basically as mouse in this game, just, you know, the basic gyro aiming, how it can be and how precise or good, how the movement is. What the difference is from using the mouse against the Steam Trollist gyro, because that is the part that I really love. Uh, the touch pad, the right, you know, to quickly get my cursor close to an enemy, that's good. And then you gyro to kind of do the aiming. In this game, Royal Shooter here, I don't need, I don't need a touch pad, so this is just... 100% gyro uh, to show the precision of that and what that brings to the table for gaming. So, mouse is better, it's high precision. I use mouse more and everything, but I definitely think I can have a really great experience with, you know, because of the gyro in the Steam controller. But that's basically what I'm gonna show. So, if you don't, if you are here like thinking you wanna see, like, Oh, is, is the Steam controller better than a mouse? No, you don't have to watch this video at all. Just go. It's not a, as precise. It's not as crazy good. You don't have the kind of same stability and stuff like that. And that's not what I'm going to show here. What I'm going to just show is, you know, kind of like how, how big of a difference it is. And, you know, maybe how the movement is. Maybe you... You know, using the mouse, the snapping is uh, more on par, so you can see kind of that. So I'm gonna do about, you know, maybe one to two e runs, depending on how it goes, and take the one that is best and show in the video. I'm gonna cut out the other ones because sometimes it's just, you know, sometimes you just mess up and it's not the mouse fault, it's not the controller's fault, it's just, you know, you have a bad run. It can happen. Uh, to everyone so I'd that's that's the plan here I'm gonna start with the mouse and then I you know to warm up and everything and then I'm gonna move on to the steam controller so that's the order it's gonna be I'm gonna try to use timestamp below so you can just go for the one if you want it should be pretty quick I think I think every round is like two and a half minutes so not too bad should be a five minute you know, round here after this one. So let's get into it first. So I'm gonna use the arcade mode. And we use the, I think, medium difficulty. That's a good, you know, measurement. And I'm gonna choose the first level because I wanna have a level where I'm kinda know where things are coming and happening. And also the other levels some have, well, they have a lot more obstacles that makes it not as easy to aim so that's why i'm not choosing those levels i want an easy clear kind of experience so it's just about moving aiming is and it where it's not about how quickly can i spot the enemy it's just about how quickly can i get the crosser to the enemy and the fire so as i said i'm gonna cut out the runs that is um, that I feel is uh, you know bad, and I'm gonna turn off my mic so you don't get unnecessary disturbance. So it's just gonna be pure gameplay from the rest of the video. I'm not gonna summarize, uh, sum summarize because the mouse is better for me and probably for the majority of the players out there. It's not about which one is best. It's just showing the difference in this video.
the cats out. <laughs> and kill the opponents. 
Well, that was interesting. So I had to rerun this actually. Um, <laughs> the Steam controller in this game actually, at least in this level, was better. I don't know why I felt that I could, you know, that the aim was really nice with the mouse and everything. But I had to rerun this one. Um, so the intro is here. Yeah, I'm gonna include the mouse, then we have the steam controller, and then we have the mouse. And I think one reason actually because this steam controller being better than this is because of the view bobbing. Um, it's easier to kind of like smoothly quickly adapt to all the crazy bobbing with you know your hands and you also have a little bit of built-in bobbing you know stability in when you're holding the control in the air it's kind of just apply to a more seamless uh, adjustment uh, was really interesting to see i do not feel that i would get this kind of result in a game that did not have this amount of view bobbing and definitely not in a FPS shooter where I'm controlling the movement because that is the thing here with the mouse in this game you're really fighting all the view bobbing and with the sting crawler and the gyro it actually is um, a completely different feeling the view bobbing is uh, not fun but you're not fighting it in the same way and this game with like a light gun would probably be even more fun and better yeah interesting result that in this game for me i can get more stable results using my steam control and the gyro than i can get with the mouse i do feel i can get more precision with the you know with the mouse especially if i were to play more with it and i think also some of the you know things that can be you know factor is uh, the shotgun it seems very in you know inconsistent when it comes to getting headshot bonus so that probably could be a huge factor that i got you know a little bit of a luck but i actually i play like four maybe 45 minutes with the mouse doing both the first run and the second run here whilst with the steam controller i played uh, maybe was it under 10 minutes at least like three runs first run i get uh, like a b then i get like a c then i get an a it was pretty much close it wasn't you know it was very very much easier so but yeah uh, fun video just showing all the movements and difference here gonna include uh, as stated in the beginning sting uh, mouse the best run i got after trying that over and over I, I i wanted to get an a i should have gotten an a then but you know it's a b because after like 30 minutes i felt like what the hell okay and then we have the steam controller you know like five ten minutes something in between that a couple like i think it was like three runs or something i get an a uh, and then i did uh, you know like a couple of runs with mouse and i were able to get an a here also so pretty much on par but it felt smoother in this game with the gyro and the gyro is really fun really nice and you know this shows why i don't feel in fps that the steam controller is holding me back i think it's a really nice device for playing shooter games um still mouse i believe uh, you know that i can and probably will in all kind of circumstances get a better result this the, the is just is that way the steam controller isn't better it just it isn't bad it's very very close in some situation like this it actually was a little bit easier in most situations it's just going to be a very fun experience and it will give you very close to a mouse experience depending on how you know 
how comfortable you are with it. So hope you enjoyed this video. It was a very fun seeing the results for me at least. So. <laughs>